So the big idea would be, are the tools that you're choosing in your universities actually relevant to the context that other people are using? This comes from Ron Fender's work that has to do with understanding how people's self-understanding, when I say, who are you, your identity, you're a different person in different types of your life, right? You're a different person based on your cultural norms. What do you want to highlight to other people? Where are you from, right? Normally I say, oh, I'm from California. But sometimes I say, oh yeah, and I'm half Japanese. I am not Latina at all, even though Espinosa, that's my husband's name. I try to put that into context. Depending on who I'm talking to, I assume different identities. My relationships change that, who I am within a family context. All of these different things, who you are in your social media, all changes the way you perceive yourself. And identity does matter. We know that if people, there's studies since the 70s, beautiful ones from the 90s, and more recent ones that tell us that if a person, an Asian woman, thinks of herself as Asian when she goes into a math test, she does much better than if she thinks of herself as a female when she goes into the math test. All of the different identities we have play into the, how well we are able to learn in different contexts. And we know that there's no such thing as a neutral educational context. Everything is charged with cultural input. And we have to be much more sensitive to that if we want meaning to be made of the information that the students are taking in. Somebody who's doing great work in this field right now is Zaretta Hammond who has written about culturally relevant pedagogy. She's not the first person by far to do this, but she's somebody who's tried to link this to the brain with pretty good success in doing that. I highly recommend her work.